liking this trend that we're on. Isn't here. this nice right now? Gary. I was outside a little while ago. I tell you what, a little breeze blowing, the sun's out, and it's dry mm -hmm. in most places. And you take a look, and folks, you go to the fair, go on ahead. Tell you what, they couldn't have uh, bought better weather for this fair the upcoming week, the way things look. Now, there might be a little fly in the ointment as we might see a shower pop up as we're going into late tonight and uh, maybe a little drizzly tomorrow. But beyond that, and even uh, getting close to the weekend, things are looking pretty good for fair conditions. Fair weather for fair conditions. Temperatures look like this right now 75 in the triad, 81 Greenville, warmer down east, and it's 82 in Wilmington now. And then a little cooler up in the mountains, no surprise there. 63 at Boone and 69 at Asheville right now. Temperatures from 24 hours ago, uh, not a huge change. We're about six degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. We had a little uh, extra cloud deck out there on Sunday, so we've got a little more sun to deal with today. And uh, the dew point numbers are up just a little bit, but still manageable out there. It's not too bad, but we have seen a little more moisture increase across the area. As we watch this front that's back out to the west start to approach, we've seen a few clouds further back out to the west, but we see just a few puffy clouds out there at this hour. And as we go on in through later on tonight and through the early part, Part of Tuesday. This front's going to be a slow mover and gradually work its way across the state and then back down to our south. Behind that, we've got some cooler air. We're going to see a high pressure system move back up over New England, and that's going to bring in those northeasterly winds. That, along with a low that's going to be along the coast, will kind of get us back into that little wedge situation where we see a day where it's kind of cloudy and cool and maybe a little off and on drizzle through the day on Tuesday. Then we should start to clear back out by the time we get on into Wednesday or so. So there's the showers that we might see come on into as we go into the overnight hours, but as those uh, rains move across the mountains later on, they may fall apart a little bit more, so we're not going to put in a high percentage for showers overnight, maybe 25, 30%, and then you can see uh, as we get on into tomorrow afternoon how the temperatures hold into the mid-60s, and we see a little shower and drizzle activity maybe off and on. Then as we get into Wednesday afternoon, things look a little bit better into the mid-70s then. That's about where we should be for this time of year, and uh, conditions will be dry across the region, and Thursday's looking pretty dry too with temperatures back up in the low and mid-70s, so some nice uh, conditions out there. Like I said, for the fair uh, at 3 o'clock this afternoon around 79, maybe a passing shower later this evening, but a better chance as we get on into the tonight hours uh, a little bit later on tonight with temperatures about 66, just a risk of a light passing shower. So tonight the clouds and the shower mainly overcast some drizzle tomorrow and then mostly sunny by the time we get on in to Wednesday or so. So we're going to be dry once we get past the day on Tuesday and looking pretty good uh, beyond that for at least for outdoor activities, but we really do need the rain and uh, we're coming into a dry season, so we need all the rain we can get whenever we can get it. Uh, there's our 79 for this afternoon in the foothills as we go into this afternoon about 77 and then a better chance of a shower as we get on into the mountains for 3 o'clock this afternoon and temperatures will be in the upper 60s later this evening there. 65 for tomorrow, then we're back in the 70s and dry Wednesday right now through Saturday.